Hello Year 2. In today's lesson we are going to be carrying on with learning how to turn speech in speech bubbles into speech using speech marks and we are going to be looking at the chapter of the book where Matilda plays that trick on her dad by dyeing his hair and we're going to be using scenes from the film that match up with the book. So in this scene this is when Matilda wakes up early in the morning after spending an evening thinking up a plan to get back at her dad. What do you think she's thinking to herself right now? I think she might be thinking, hmm, I have the perfect way to get back at that beastly man. So we are gonna turn this into a sentence using speech marks. Now, if we remember from yesterday, you have to take the words that are in the speech bubble and copy them. So here, let me get my little red dot to show you. Okay, so here, this is what Matilda has said, and it's in a thought bubble because she's thinking it in her head. And I have copied it exactly as it is in the bubble, like this. So I've got my exclamation mark at the end, and I've got my exclamation mark at the end here. The next step is to add in the speech marks around what Matilda has thought herself. So we've got a speech mark here at the end of what she has thought and a speech mark here at the beginning. Do you remember what the next step is? The next step is to use a different word for said. So I've decided to use the word thought. I have the perfect way to get back at that beastly man. Thought. Who thought it? Matilda. Matilda thought that. And then we need a full stop at the end. So now we have turned the words in the thought bubble into words, into a sentence using speech marks. Your task right now is to pause the video to write down your idea. I don't want you to write it in a thought bubble or a speech bubble. I want you to try to use speech marks and to use the correct, the correct punctuation. Okay, and when you have finished that, press play again and we will do the next one. In this scene, Mr. Wormwood has come downstairs, he's marched down the corridor, he's really excited for a day at work, and he doesn't realise that he's dyed his hair. He's got no clue. So he's walked into the kitchen and he's asked his wife where his breakfast is. So I think Mr. Wormwood might be saying, Good morning, sweetheart. Now, where's my breakfast? And we want to turn that into a sentence using speech marks. So I've copied everything that's in the speech bubble out here. So it looks exactly the same. And I've made the exclamation mark and the question mark green just to remind ourselves that we need that punctuation at the end of a sentence. <clears throat> Do you remember what the next step is? The next step is to put speech marks at the beginning of what Mr. Wormwood has said and at the end of what Mr. Wormwood has said. You don't need speech marks here because Mr. Wormwood hasn't finished speaking. We put the speech mark, the ending speech mark, at the end of what Mr. Wormwood has said. Do you remember what the next step is? The next step is to find another word for said. And I've decided to use bellowed. Good morning, sweetheart. Now, where's my breakfast? Bellowed. Who bellowed it? Mr. Wormwood. And I've put a full stop at the end of my sentence. Your task now is to think of your own idea. What would Mr. Wormwood be saying in this scene? Remember to use your opening speech mark, your punctuation at the end, your closing speech mark, and your different word for said. And when you have finished that, press play again and we'll do the next one. In this scene, um, Mrs. Wormwood turns around and sees that Mrs. Mr. Wormwood has dyed his hair bleach blonde or silver, as it is in the book. And she's spun around and she's completely shocked. And she says, what on earth did you do to your hair? And we want to turn that into a sentence using speech marks. So here I've copied out everything that Mrs. Wormwood has said in the speech bubble including the question mark. 
The next step is to add in the speech marks at the beginning, so the opening speech mark, and at the end, the closing speech mark. I've decided to use the word shrieked. She shrieked. What on earth did you do to your hair? Shrieked Mrs. Wormwood. And then you need your full stop at the end. Your task now is to think of your own idea. What do you think Mrs. Wormwood is saying in this scene? When you have finished, press play again and you'll have your last one to do. Now, I'm not going to do an example for this one. I want you to think of your own idea. What do you think Mr. Wormwood has said or shouted or screamed in this scene? He's turned around and he's looked in the mirror and he's noticed that his hair is no longer black. It's this weird shade of orangey blonde. What do you think he is saying? When you have finished that, then you are done for today. Bye, guys.